Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Dia which is a diagram application software on Windows 10. So I'm going to open up my web browser and I'm going to type in Dia diagram and we'll click, quickly uh, click on these images here and we can see the types of diagrams that we can design and create. Uh, you can create them for different industries so if you're working in uh, let's say working on Cisco routers or Cisco systems there's diagrams for that if you're working in electronics there's diagrams for that if you're working in um, IT or any sort of industry where you need to create diagrams and this software um, is really good so let's go back to the web browser we'll type in dia diagram and we're going to click on this link here which is dia-installer.de and here we can download the software. There's a Mac version of Linux here. So we'll click that. And it's going to take us to SourceForge where we can download the software. You can see your download will start shortly and it hits zero. And then the software will start to download. It's a pretty small file, only 18 megabytes. And we'll click the installer. We can minimize this now. We'll wait for the software to launch. And the screen will pop up. You might not see this on my screen. It's just saying, uh, Windows is just saying, is it okay to install this software? I'm going to click yes. And then another pop up will show. And we, you can select the relevant language here. I'm going to select English, click OK, click next, click next again. We'll use a typical installation, click next. And then we'll click the install button. And we have to wait for about a minute or so for this to install. So we can click finish and when we go to our start menu we can scroll down and we'll see Dia here and we'll click Dia, let's just open up the software and in here we'll see flowcharts and we've got, normally I use UML and this is just like a universal sort of diagram um, icons and you can click on something like text and then click in the browser and you can type in something like a website and then we can click text again We can type in uh, something like payment gateway. We can move these objects around and then we can connect them. So we can use the dots here. And we can connect them together and move them around. We can create quite complex diagrams. Um, you can go to sheets here. You can see stuff for electrics, databases, all stuff for Cisco routers all these different types of uh, diagrams and all these images are uh, really useful for creating quite complex diagrams. I normally use this software when I'm building complex web projects and I have all the elements connected together to give me a good overview of how a project might work. So let's close this down and test that dia, see how you can use that within your business to create nice diagrams for maybe some complicated projects that you're working on. It's nice to break projects down into their individual components and then um, you can focus on each component when you build, let's say a website project or maybe you're working in another industry, see how you can apply this software to your industry. Okay, I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.